warning. Um, I promise that the state of confusion is not in Virginia. It's with data management. So I will explain that a little bit more. Um, I am a deputy director in the Virginia Fusion Center, but as of six weeks ago, I am also the GIS program manager for the Virginia Department of Emergency Management, which puts me in a unique position to build collaboration between state police and emergency management. So while it's additional duties, I am trying to juggle everything, but I do see the positive, and the positive is that collaboration. As we heard yesterday from Ryan when he was talking about harnessing GIS technology for collaboration. I think that's exactly what we're gonna be able to do in Virginia, at least that's my plan. We also heard yesterday from Brian talking about getting support from senior executives, building a champion, finding your innovators and your workforce. So today I'd like to, whoops. Today I'd like to share with you my experience in doing just that. Before I get started, does everyone know what a fusion center is? Raise your hands. So we have a few folks. Anyone from fusion centers in here? A couple of you, okay, excellent. So I have some cohorts in the room. So fusion centers were established after the 9-11 attacks on the United States to fill the gap of information sharing that was identified in the 9-11 commission report. A fusion center is a multi-agency, multi-discipline intelligence center. Their purpose is to collect information from multiple sources, analyze that information, develop intelligence, and distribute that intelligence in products to local, state, and federal partners in an attempt to prevent the next terrorist attack, but if an attack occurs, to help recover, respond and recover. Basically, a fusion center is a honeycomb of information divided into units or focus areas. In the United States, there are 74 fusion centers. There's at least one in every state. In Virginia, there are two. We have a regional intelligence center in the Northern, uh, the Northern Virginia National Capital Region that, uh, in the DC area. And then we have a statewide fusion center, which is the Virginia Fusion Center. And the Virginia Fusion Center is organized structurally under state police, but we do have representation from emergency management, from fire programs, from the National Guard, and we now have a local liaison in our fusion center part-time. The way the, the fusion center is structured, um, we have a central center, and then we have seven geographically dispersed um, units that include special agents and analysts. In the center itself, we have six focus areas, and you see them up on the screen. We have critical infrastructure, we have terrorism, gangs, cyber, requests for information that come from external partners, and then our watch center, which really is the hub of receiving information. Um, when, someone, when someone emails the Fusion Center, it comes into the watch center and gets dispersed from there. So we have, we have a saying, an acronym in the intelligence community called BLUFF, and that is bottom line up front. So I'm gonna give you the bottom line up front. Um, it is possible to transform your organization, to streamline business processes, and turn your organization from reactive to proactive in the matter of a day. I did it. Um, it, it, was, it was something that uh, happened very shortly after we had installed GIS. Uh, and it was an opportunity, I took it. Uh, basically, my advice to you, or my, my, my lessons learned, are that you need, there are two prerequisites to making this happen. And that is, you need support from leadership, a champion at the top, and you need that incident of opportunity. So, in the summer of 2018, we initially installed GIS. It was new technology, and literally no one in the Fusion Center could spell GIS. Um, I knew, and I was able to convince the leadership, our Fusion Center director, who is a lieutenant, and then the Criminal Investigations Division uh, lead, who is a captain, I was able to convince them that GIS was going to revolutionize the Fusion Center. So we found funding and, in, and installed the software. In addition to gaining my champion, 
we had a change at the helm of state police. We, new superintendent came in when our new governor uh, was elected, and this new superintendent embraced technology. State police prior to this point was a very, is, is still a very manual organization, but they are moving in the direction of technology. So I knew to get there, to, to, in order to win their support, I was gonna have to have a very quick win. And I was able to take a manually fed spreadsheet that was tracking active um, officer-involved shootings across the state and import it very quickly into a dashboard that won over the superintendent and his lieutenant colonels immediately. And um, they started using that briefing and presentations. So, was, so I had my champion and I had my senior executive support. The second prerequisite came on December 13th, 2018. Um, when a rash of bomb threats, later, later determined to be hoax bomb threats, hit businesses nationwide. This was a, this was a nationwide event. Um, bomb threats were coming in at a, a very um, fast pace, and we were struggling to keep up with them. It was taxing local hazmat and bomb resources. And just after lunch on December 13th, we started getting an influx of information. We were receiving most of our information by email, some of it by phone, some by text, and some in person. Our, our JTTF officers, our Joint Terrorism Task Force officers who are embedded with the FBI were in the office that day. And there was a lot, a lot of back and forth between our agents, our analysts, and leadership trying to figure out what was going on across the state. Uh, about 2.15, we were scrambling just to manage the influx of information. Most of our information was coming in by email. So our, so our lead analyst, who was trying to manage email, could not analyze the data and look at the who, where, when, what, why, which is what he is supposed to be doing. About 2.54 on um, that same day, I got a call from one of our local emergency managers on the East Coast, um, in the East Coast region, Hampton Roads region of Virginia, asking me if we knew what was going on. He said there had been 10 bomb threats in the three primary cities in Hampton Roads and wanted to know what I could tell him. And unfortunately, I could not tell him very much. I told him we knew what was going on, but we didn't really have a handle on the data. We were, try we were trying to manage the influx of data, and I certainly didn't have anything to show him. GIS was so new to us. Um, I had a few trained folks, but it hadn't been wholly embraced in the Fusion Center yet. So I started thinking. We needed a way to collect our data. We needed a way to consolidate information in one location because it was coming in from all across the state. But unfortunately, we were already behind the curve. I didn't have anything in place ahead of time. Um, so what I did is I assigned our GIS staff in the Fusion Center to that lead analyst who was assigned to the event and had them start building out a spreadsheet because I thought that at the very least I could show a dashboard to kind of get a handle on this information. So they, they worked with the they worked with the cyber lead to collect all of that information, but as you can see, it took us 72 hours to get all that information, to massage the data, and get it in a format that we could display in a dashboard. It took us the, another day to get the dashboard set because there, was, there were a few more corrections in the data that we had to make. This was a learning opportunity for our analyst about how important it is to have uniform data. So if we had a total of 105 incidents that were reported to the Fusion Center on December 13th. Um, again, it took us four days to massage the data and get to this dashboard. So while that is not very timely delivery of actionable information for situational awareness or decision making, this did give me an opportunity to win over my leadership. I had something to show them that was quick, was easy to use with minimal amount of data and it gave us the opportunity to look and analyze our data. So I started thinking longer term. How was I gonna make this an institution in the Fusion Center? Um, I, I, I had an idea of how we could harness Survey123 and use a dashboard to feed information into. Um, that would allow us flexibility across different incident types because the next incident won't be a hoax bomb threat. It will be something else. 
At the end of the day, I walked in to talk with the captain about my idea, and he was excited. I, I, I had no idea what he was going to tell me, but he, he started talking about how this lead analyst had been overwhelmed with data, and they had come up with a solution by using a shared drive, um, a shared file server, and we were going to have agents and analysts dump data into this uh, shared folder. And he, he really thought this was the solution to, rather than managing email. But what it didn't do for us is consolidate information. It put a bunch of files in one location, but it didn't help us put it in the format that we could use. So at that point, I looked up and I said, stop. Just stop. We already have a solution. You're, trying to, you're making this too complicated. And at that point, OK, someone has got to tell me the score, because I, 2-0 US, right? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, so, so I, had, I had the captain's attention. <laughs> I had the captain's attention at this point. Um, so I continued on with my pitch. I said, we, have, we just put Enterprise, ArcGIS Enterprise, into the, into the Fusion Center, and that's exactly what it's here for. It's for us to harness data collection so that we can more easily analyze data. I explained to him that I wanted to use a mobile app, a Survey123, put them on department-issued phones for all of this Fusion Center personnel, and that they would become a workforce multiplier so that that lead analyst did not have to manage emails or manage data, he could focus on analyzing the data while they helped us collect it. So this allowed us, this will allow us to put data in a standard format, to homogenize the flow of information to a central location. It decentralizes our collection of the data, but centralizes the aggregation. So the aggregation becomes the, the role of the system and not the person. This will allow our lead analysts to focus efforts on analyzing the data rather than collecting it. They're able to determine risks and trends and patterns instead of collating the data. The resultant dashboard that we have in place today is here up on the screen. And moving forward, this streamlined process will allow the Fusion Center to provide relevant, actionable information to leadership and external partners in a timely manner to help inform operational decisions. I finished my pitch. The captain was sold. He asked me how quickly I could do it, and I said, give me a day. And I did. The next day, I had a survey, and I had a dashboard to show to him, and it was sold. I'd found my champion. I'd found my opportunity. And in those few minutes, I convinced the captain that this was a solution that could take us from reactive to proactive. So I'll leave you with this. The enterprise tools are intuitive. They're quick to construct, easy to customize. They're the perfect tool for informing leadership and our external partners during rapidly unfolding events. It's a great way to collaborate dynamically across disciplines and across levels of government, and it provided me a quick solution that maximized resources, minimizes human equity, and utilizes existing software investments. It sold itself. I'll leave you with this advice. Be innovative. Think outside the box. You already have the GIS tools. You just need a champion and the right opportunity to show the value of those tools in streamlining and improving efficiencies to see what others can't. Thank you.